So we've done step one, which is shaping the nail with a nail file. Now we're ready to move on to step number two, which is sanding or finishing the nail. After using the nail file to shape the nail, the nail edge is far too rough to produce a good sound. My A finger here, I've just finished shaping with the nail file, and if I rub it on the string, you can hear the scraping. It's a rough edge, no good for playing the guitar. Compare that to my M finger, which I've uh, polished. Aha, you can't hear any scraping at all. And you can hear it even when you play a note. That, you can hear the scrape compared to that, which is a very beautiful, pure tone. Okay, so after shaping the nail with a file, it needs to be smoothed or finished with fine sandpaper or a multi-sided file. Now, listen to me. The sanding process and the buffing or polishing process, which I'm going to describe next, is done every day. Now, the shaping, as I mentioned earlier, that you do with the nail file, you only do that once a week or maybe once every two weeks. Depends on how fast your nails grow. In your daily activities, your nails will come into contact with hard objects and dirt that will put microscopic nicks in your fingernails. You may not be able to see them, and you may even not be able to feel them, but your guitar will certainly be aware of them, and that slight roughness in the nail will be instantly audible in your tone. In fact, try this test sometime. Don't sand or polish your M fingernail for a day or two. Then, sand and polish the I and A fingernails. Next, hold an A sharp at the sixth fret or a C at the eighth fret on the first string. Play it with the unpolished M finger. Listen to it. Then, play with I or A that you've polished. Notice the difference. It will be huge. First, let's talk about the traditional sandpaper method of finishing your nails. Depending on the hardness and thickness of your nails, use number 400, 500, or 600 grade sandpaper. The higher the number, the smoother the paper. Because you will use this every day, don't use a grit that's too rough for your nails. It's supposed to finish the nail, not alter its shape. The paper shouldn't sand away enough nail that using it every day takes your nails down shorter and shorter until you're left with nothing. Now, my nails are very tough and thick, so I use 400 grade sandpaper. But I would say for most people, 500 or 600 will work just fine. A common brand that you'll find in paint stores and hardware stores is 3M wet or dry. Now the brand I have here is from Ace Hardware and it says waterproof sandpaper. And you might wonder what's with waterproof and wet or dry sandpaper. Well, first of all, the brand isn't very important. It's the number that matters. And the wet or dry and the waterproof sandpaper are made so they can be used with water or mineral oil for fine sanding of wood or metal to control dust and metal particles. Now, we don't need to worry about that, so just use it dry. The sandpaper comes usually packaged in 8.5 by 11 sheets like this. Cut it into smaller pieces like this to make it easier to use. Finish the nail with the sandpaper by setting the left thumb behind the piece of sandpaper and then your left index finger on top and you're just going to rub, rub, rub the sandpaper against that nail from underneath the nail like I'm doing now, get all the way into the corners, straight on to the nail and don't forget the top edge. Some people forget that top edge. 
And what happens, you end up with a lousy tone because the string actually leaves the nail off that top edge. If it hasn't been polished, a burr or a rough edge causes a bad tone. So you're just going to rub, rub, rub that every single angle that you can. Just like that. And then when you're done, you're going to have um, nail dust and debris <laughs> left on the edge of the nail. Just leave that there for a second. If you feel like your sandpaper is just a little too rough for your nails, one little trick you can do is take two pieces and just rub them together like that for a little bit. And that takes the edginess off the paper. It'll be smoother. So you can try that. You can actually even do that with your nail files. If your nail files are a little too rough, scrape them against some concrete or something like that, or scrape two files together, and that'll take the, make them a little, uh, the, take some of the abrasiveness out of them. Now, do not, as sometimes you'll see recommend it, wrap a piece of sandpaper around your nail file like this, and file your nail like that, going from underneath straight on and on top. It, uh, I mean, it's not gonna ruin the nail by any means, but it just doesn't really do a very good job, um, as, as, smooth, as good a smoothing job as the continuous rubbing of the paper with the thumb behind it. The reason is that the surface of the paper gives on the soft flesh of the thumb and that enables it to get the enables the paper to get into every nook and cranny and curve of that nail surface. Many guitarists leave the nail as is after using the sandpaper, but in my opinion, at this stage, the nail is still too rough for playing the guitar. From here, go on to the polishing or buffing stage. So step number two was finishing the nail with fine sandpaper. Next, we move on to step number three, which is polishing or buffing the nail. After using your fine sandpaper, as I mentioned, leave the nail dust on the nail. Don't touch or wipe off the nail. Take a piece of Kleenex, wad up a small section, stick it underneath the nail, and just rub, 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 just like you did with the fine sandpaper, your 400, 500, or 600 sandpaper. Just rub, rub, rub underneath, get into the corners, and notice my thumb is behind the Kleenex, pushing against the nail edge, index fingers on top. Rub, 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 straight onto the nail, and the top edge of the nail. Make sure you get that top edge. Remember, that's where the string leaves the nail. Don't want to leave any burrs or rough spots there. And what happens is that the nail dust and the Kleenex fibers polish the edge of the nail to a very smooth finish. Some people prefer to use a piece of leather, soft leather like this, suede, or chamois. And it's the same thing as with the Kleenex. You stick that uh, piece of leather underneath your nail, rub, 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 get into the corners, straight on, and the top edge of the nail. Don't forget the top edge. Like I said, that's where the string leaves the fingernail, so you don't want any burrs or rough spots on that top edge. Just rub, 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 and that will polish that edge very smoothly, very nicely. In a pinch, you can rub the edge of the fingernail on your pants, but you know, that doesn't really get all the surfaces of the nail edge as well as the Kleenex or a piece of leather would. But if that's all you've got, it's better than nothing. Let's talk about a more comprehensive sandpaper method. For those perfectionists out there, you can put together the ultimate custom nail filing sandpaper system. Microsurface.com distributes Ultraflex Micro Mesh Sheets. Here's a piece of it right here. They have a cloth backing and it's ultra flexible. It's really neat stuff. 
Now what you're going to do, you're going to start with your regular 400, 500, or 600 sandpaper. Then you'll change over to the micro mesh sheets. Instead of using the Kleenex or a piece of leather for that final buffing, you'll use your micro mesh sheets. Uh, here I've got 2400, 4000, 6000, and 12000 grade. It's amazing stuff. The 12000 grit feels almost like regular paper. Going from rough to ever finer grits is how the pros achieve mirror-like finishes in fine furniture. Using it on your fingernails will make them amazingly smooth. Now, this stuff is not cheap. A regular three inch by six inch variety pack is about $25. So you're going to use this just like you used your 400 500 or 600 sandpaper. I'm going to start with the 2400 grit and once again put it underneath my nail. Rub, 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 get into the corners, straight on on top and that flexible cloth backing is great. It allows you, once again, allows you to get right into all those nooks and crannies and you get every angle, every nail surface you possibly can. You leave that nail dust, again, there's a little bit of debris there, a little bit of nail dust there. You leave that there. Next, I grab my 4,000 grit sheet and again, hold it you know, with my thumb behind it, index finger on top, rub, rub, rub. Every nail surface, every angle, every direction. That cloth backing is wonderful. It just gives against the nail. Next, we have our 6,000 grit. Same process. Now this really doesn't take long to do. I mean, it takes maybe five minutes, I would say. It takes a good five minutes, but that's not long, especially considering the results you're going to get. You won't believe how good you sound when you've properly polished your fingernails. Finally, the ultra smooth 12,000 grit feels like regular paper almost. Same process, rub, 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 every angle, every direction. This is gonna sound great. Okay, I'm sticking my neck out here. I think the best and easiest method for sanding and then polishing your nails is to use the quad grade nail buffers. These are also manufactured by Microsurface, the makers of the micro mesh sheets I just described. These quad grade nail buffers consist of four color coded surfaces. The black or blue, uh, depending on how they make them, is the 180 grit. And then the pink is 2400. You turn it over. The white is 4000 grit. And the gray is 12,000 grit. What makes this buffer so effective is not only the progressive grits, but the cushioning of the surface. If you stick your nail into the file, it gives, it's cushioned, it's not hard like a regular nail file. And not only that, but this file and also the micro mesh papers uh, use a flexible glue to hold the abrasive crystals. Because of that, it gets into every nook and microscopic cranny of the nail to smooth the nail, or as they put it, achieve extraordinary levels of gloss. You're going to use the blue side, or in some models, the black side, which is the 180 grit. Only use that for shaping in the place of a separate diamond file. Now, most people will probably only need to use the 4,000 grit, the white, and the 12,000 grit, the gray, for daily polishing. If your nails are super hard like mine, you might need to start with the pink, or if they're roughed up quite a bit, you might need to start with the pink, the 2400 grit, 
and then move on to the white and end up on the gray. Now, as with your sandpaper, you have to buff from every angle and direction. You can get underneath, straight on, and on the top edge of the nail. Just rub, rub, rub every single direction. And again, because that file is buffered, it, even though it looks like I'm not getting every possible angle the way I would with sandpaper, I am because the buffer gives, that surface gives, and it gets every nook and cranny. And again, make sure you get that top edge where the string leaves the fingernail. The quad grade nail buffer is very cheap. It's only a dollar or two. The downside is they don't last long. I have tough nails, so one file only lasts me one to two months. They wear fairly quickly. Now, Microsurface also makes a tri grade, three sided buffer. It doesn't include the rough 180 grit segment. One of my favorite brands, no longer manufactured, was called, and I kid you not, Wet and wild. <clears throat> One random miscellaneous thought. If you use nail hardener or strengthener or glue on your nail, be sure it's at least a millimeter away from that nail edge. Otherwise, the string will hit the glue as it releases off the edge of the nail, producing a very bad sound. So, to sum up, experiment. Decide what works best for you. That's your mantra. Begin experimenting with nail lengths of 1 16th to 1 8th inch beyond the fingertip. Shape your nails. Try following the contour of the fingertip. Then try a ramp up to the right. Then try a ramp down to the right. Try each shape with and without a small corner on the left side. Polish your nails every day. Try the traditional system of 400, 500, or 600 grade sandpaper followed by polishing with Kleenex, leather, or chamois. For the ultimate finish, try the micro mesh sheets or the quad grade nail buffer. And one more time, experiment. Decide what works best for you.